Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in this episode we will see about the complex lookups using Q objects. Okay, so let's say we want to apply the multiple filters. So in that case, for example, if we want products with inventory less than 10 and uh, unit price less than 10. Okay, so in that case, how we will do it? So in that case, what we will have to do, we will have to pass the multiple argument. So first thing you can do it is over here is dot filter, you can write inventory and uh, you can write less than lt equals to 10 okay or let's say uh, 20 okay so uh, inventory less than 20 that is first thing and second argument you wanted was unit price less than 20 so you say unit write price and double underscore and double underscore ke baad aap to less than equals to 20 okay you save this and you come to your browser okay here you just refresh it so these are the objects which are there so basically these are the objects which whose inventories are less than 10 and unit price sorry inventories are less than 20 and in, unit price is also less than 20 so if you go to your sql tab you can see over here that and operators are being used over here okay and operator use care basically inventory with less than 20 and unit price also with less than 20 only those objects will be there inside this okay and those objects are nothing but these things all right the second method is that what you can do you can use the multiple filters so if you come to your vs code instead of this what you can do i'll delete this you can use multiple filters so first thing you can do it is that you can write inventory less than equals to 20 that is the first thing and again you use a filter method okay so you write filter and again you write unit price less than equals to 20 okay you save this now the result in the sql tab should be same in both the cases it should be and operator so let's see if we if it is correct or not go to sql tab come over here you can see so here also it is using and operator so you have seen that in both the cases it has used and operators and the results are exactly same okay now what to do if i want to use or operators okay if i want to use or operator how i can use it so i can use it using a complex lookups using q objects okay so in that case what i can do i'll simply i'll delete this so delete kar deta hon. ओके सबसे पहले आपको एक क्यू ऑब्जेक्ट इंपोर्ट करना पड़ेगा ठीक है सो यू कैन राइट फ्रॉम जेंगो डॉट डीबी डॉट मॉडल्स इंपोर्ट सॉरी इंपोर्ट क्यू ठीक है क्यू स्टैंड्स फॉर क्वेरी ऑब्जेक्ट्स ओके नाउ हियर यू कैन व्हाट यू कैन डू यू कैन यूज अ filter method same filter this thing and instead of this you can write q and aapko parenthesis iske andar mein what you can do inventory okay inventory less than equals to 20 okay and then you have to use a bitwise operator guys theek hai yahan pe aapko ek bitwise operator in mac it is just above the return key okay so you use this this is a bitwise this particular thing is a bitwise operator okay basically this will convert uh, into an or operator you can write second q and yahan pe aapko likhna padega unit price less than equals to 20 okay now if you go to your browser you just save it save go to your browser refresh somewhere wrong we have done i guess mm, control I have to get to terminal django okay some swelling mistake i have done okay sorry d j a n g o okay save it now you go to your browser refresh 
go to your SQL tab. Now you can see over here there are all operators. Okay, so this will produce the result whose inventory is less than twenty also, and whose unit prices are less than twenty also. In earlier cases, it was and operator because uh, it was asking for basically it was asking for intersection of these two things. Now it is a union of these two things. Okay, so I hope you understand union and intersection. All right. So these are the products which were there. Obviously, it will increase because it is getting uh, all the basically both the uh, prices whose price are uh, basically it is getting both the items whose prices are less than twenty, and it is also getting the items whose inventory is less than twenty. Okay, I'll go back over here. Similarly, you can use the and operator also. Okay, In, instead of this thing you can use and operator but when you use and operator you don't have to use this queue objects just like earlier cases you can use it and you have to remove this queue objects if you want uh, inventory which uh, which is less than 20 and inventory whose price is not less than 20 then you can use a not operator over here you simply shift this thing now this will produce the result of this particular thing represents a not operator okay so this was all about the complex loop up lookups using two object guys so that was a very short tutorial regarding this next class what we'll do we'll see about the referencing fields using f objects so thank you so much for watching me guys and i'll see you in next video make sure you hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel for more and more updates signing off